Hello guys, data tables is one of the most common functionalities in Laravel projects and over the years there have been many packages and tools for that and since Livewire was released there were quite a few attempts to create data tables with Livewire. Here on the screen you can see one of my previous videos from October 2023 with one of those packages which is still working and you can use that but some of those packages come and go for example comment on that video was about livewire data tables from medic one systems which seems to be abandoned and not updated anymore and if you have a situation that you want to use some data table in your livewire project over the years slowly but surely filament became a popular solution for that filament tables not all filament because in filament they separated the packages into panel builder so you can use full filament form builder table builder notifications and all of those could be used separately without the full filament and today in this video i will show you an example of that an open source project which is called genealogy by Korea web from belgium this is open source so i will link that in the description below uses filament tables in live wire components this is the visual result and then we'll get to code and i will show you how it works so this table is a filament table inside of live wire component which is inside of laravel jetstream project so there are three layers and i will show you all of that and table is a regular kind of common data table well known for filament users but it can be used outside filament so you can have search here sorting filtering and stuff like that so let me show you how it works so step by step if we go to composer json of that project we don't see filament filament we see only filament tables then in the routes web of that project we have typical laravel controllers so it's a laravel project not filament not live wire it's a regular laravel project started with laravel jet stream as a starter kit so you can see laravel jet stream here and then you have laravel controllers let's close the sidebar by the way did you know that you can group that with route controller so if you have one controller with multiple methods you can do it with the syntax that's kind of a side tip then inside of that controller we have methods every method is empty doesn't have any logic because the logic will be inside of live wire component and i will show you that in a minute so every laravel controller returns the view for that you also can use live wire full page component and directly bind the route to live wire component instead of laravel controllers but that's a personal preference whether you want to do that so for example we have a method of persons and then if we go to that view blade file it looks like this it's a laravel blade file with layout again from laravel jetstream so you can do anything you want here in the blade with laravel language and inside of that page it's a live wire component here if we go to that live wire component so let's go one level deep it's a class that extends live wire component with filament inside here's where we first time see filament so again layers laravel jetstream inside of the blade wherever you want it could be in the middle of the page there's live wire and then inside live wire we have a filament table which is added in a few simple steps so to live wire component you add implements has form has table use interacts with forms with table those are from filament so you see a lot of use statements here from filament then you define a table with all the columns with filament syntax the main thing is to define the query the eloquent query to get the data from because it's not a filament resource so livewire wouldn't know where to take the data from but then you go to filament documentation and you see how to define the columns whether they are sortable searchable or have any other extra functionality like get state using like toggleable and stuff like that so from here it's filament syntax so to the table you can add filters you can add actions and bulk actions then also you can group the table define the sorting and anything that is related to filament syntax also you may override the eloquent query so in this case it's overriding the default global scope and then we're back to livewire where we need to define the render with livewire blade and then inside of that livewire blade all you need to do to make that table work is this that's all the live wire component div and then inside you render this table if we take a look at the documentation of filament in the table builder if we scroll way down there's a separate section 
separate page adding a table to a live wire component which basically says the same thing that I've just shown you just in a more theoretical way so make live wire component then inside of that live wire component you need to have has table has forms and all of those so same example then in the table method you define columns filters and whatever and this part is important with query and then if we scroll down all we need to do in the blade part of the live wire is this so the same thing so yeah that's the thing that i wanted to show you how to use filament inside of livewire inside of laravel project if any of these things are totally new to you of course i have courses on all of those one of the most popular courses on laravel daily is livewire from scratch and filament from scratch recently updated to newest versions of livewire 3 and filament 3. And also you can watch videos and subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Filament Daily, where I dive deeper into filament specific examples and practical projects. I will link all of that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.